hello beautiful people it's your girl pretty choice and you're welcome to my channel how are you all doing i hope you all are doing well so guys in today's video we're going to be talking about this asian woman calling 911 on a black man for nothing like guys absolutely nothing like this whole thing is just too much this whole thing like racist racism is getting too much guys it's getting out of hand and i thought white people are the one doing this and now asia woman seriously this is too much this is too much guys so i came across this video and i decided to share with you guys and i will review more details so let me know what you think about this video by dropping down your comment below and don't forget to like share subscribe keep watching me keep supporting your girl without further review i will see you all in my next one bye she is on the phone with 911 right now look look at her she said I just threatened her. What threat what what threat did I make towards you? I'm Elizabeth. What threat did I make towards you, ma'am? Huh? <sighs> this is crazy. I've never I already knew I already knew what it was when I first got here though. Here she is one minute later trying to sound distressed so the police can come quicker. What? I'm shaking right now. Please, please. What? What in the world is this, boy? I ain't gonna lie. I've never in my life had to deal with no bullshit like this. Never in my life. <laughs> she is on the phone with 911 right now. Yesterday I stitched that video saying it is particularly egregious when a person of color does that to a black man because we should know better. And furthermore, I hoped that the police either didn't show up or if they did, that they charged her with falsely reporting a crime. Because in the state of New York, ever since the infamous Central Park dog walker situation, that has become recognized as a hate crime. And not surprisingly, the video was removed for a CGV. Even though I had appealed it successfully twice during the day, it was permanently removed this morning, and again, I'm not surprised on this platform. But there were a couple more things that I wanted to say about it. First, people in the comments were asking, if the caller is Asian and the person she's calling about is black, then why am I saying that that has to do with white supremacy? Isn't that just an Asian woman being racist towards a black person? Yes, it is an Asian woman being racist towards a black person. However, the reason why I say that she is aligning herself with white supremacy is because she chose to weaponize a systemically racist system, policing, against a black person. And if our policing system wasn't systemically racist, then she wouldn't have placed that call because only in a systemically racist system would anybody think to call 911 because a black person called them rude. So that's why it's aligning herself with white supremacy. Second, some commenters took issue with the fact that I referred to the caller as a woman of color because they feel that Asian people are white. Asian people are not white. I have always openly acknowledged the white adjacency that some Asian Americans receive in white supremacy culture because Asian Americans are used as a wedge to oppress the black community. And a lot of my work involves urging Asian Americans to not align with whiteness and white supremacy culture because doing so ultimately hurts black, brown, indigenous, and people of color. But we experience racial discrimination and systemic racism. This is particularly true for Asian American men. And if that were not the case, we would not be scapegoated for illness and economic crisis and loss of opportunity for white people. But I do understand that our experience is different from other people's experience, which is why on my page, I always ask people to distinguish between black, indigenous, and people of color. She is on the phone with 911 right now. And this is why I kind of roll my eyes when other people of color try to make it seem like they understand
my experience as a black person i'm not saying you don't understand your own experience as a person of color but you don't understand my experience as a black person if we are talking about black issues and a person of color tries to interject like they understand me um talking about a black perspective you we can we can bond on people of color perspective but a black perspective you don't understand me I'm assuming that this woman is East Asian because it sounds to me like she has an East Asian accent. She doesn't sound white to me. And here she is using white women tactics to still try to oppress. That black man could have gotten killed from that interaction. Like, and I'm assuming by her accent that she wasn't born here. And I'm also assuming that wherever she was born didn't have black people in it. So how was she taught to hate black people? She didn't learn that here. She learned that over there. I mean, she also, it was reinfer reinforced here, but people hate black people everywhere. We're not the same as other people of color. We're hated throughout the world. Every culture hates us, including our own, including other people from Africa, including other people from uh, Jamaica. <laughs> like, black people are so hated, it's ridiculous, and I'm sick and tired of it. My friend works at a fucking middle school and the number one insult thrown around between black people is you're black. Black people will call other black people blacker. East Asian people will literally own a black beauty supply store like for wigs and hair extensions like braiding stuff and follow every single black motherfucker that walks in there like damn if you don't like us why are you why are you trying to sell us shit? Like, go own a Sally's. She is on the phone with 911 right now. I really hope his day was a hundred times better than that. I really do. I hope her day got a lot fucking worse. We really need an update to this. Really do. But, I want to know. To you people out there, and don't lie, be honest. Who do this kind of shit. Who call the cops with this false fucking accusation that could have gotten a man severely hurt or worse what is it why do you do that is it because y'all put raisins and carrots in the potato salad cause see I ain't never eaten, eaten it like that and it's about the only thing I could think of that would make somebody that fucking hostile conniving and uh full of shit so I am so worried for him right now. I hope that we can get an update soon to know that he is okay. As a mom that has a black son, this is one of my biggest fears. And although this lady is not white, she is Asian, she is very aware of how police how society views black men and this is what makes it very easy for her to do this. The way that she's being so dramatic in this video is intentional. I have heard and seen women do this, particularly to black men because they know how it's gonna be perceived. But she's quite literally putting this man's life in danger because now the police don't know when they get there whether he has a weapon, whether he's a danger to her or to them and they're gonna come with that attitude. It is just sad and I just hope that he's okay. And I think that she should be charged for making false statements. She is on the phone with 911 right now. If you take a look at my old content from like 2020, 2019, it's changed a lot. Because January of 2021, I met my two best friends. I ran a crew of seven people for an engineering company. And what I witnessed working for this company, because we have to gain access to people's property, is my two best friends, one from the Philippines and one from here. One's Filipino, obviously, and the other one's black. Go through some crazy shit. Like, they go behind a house to hook up to a gas meter or a uh, water service or whatever the case may be, and they get questioned. I understand wanting to know what somebody's doing on your property, but it doesn't just stop at being questioned. No ID was ever good enough for them. No amount of information that they could provide or prove what they're doing there was good enough for them. And it always ended in the same way. You're not going anywhere, we're gonna wait for the police. Unfortunately, we've thrown a label of racism on everything. 
we've destroyed people's lives because they said something we didn't like, not that it is racist. So basically the people that do this have made it uncool to do the type of shit that I do. My process would go as follows. I would verify the customer's information who has a service from whatever utility that I have access to because I have access to their account information. I'd call them by their first name. But even before this, they talk to me completely differently. Sometimes before even verifying information, they just accept identification. But it was always the same thing for Trey and Gene. It always broke my heart. Trey served 13 years in the Marine Corps. He was given a Purple Heart for his role when he was across seas fighting. He's still got 762 shrapnel in his chest fighting for this country. How do I know that he's a Purple Heart recipient? I was one of the few people that got an invitation to the award ceremony. And it breaks my heart. Because every time these things happen, he'd say, it's okay. It's not. I'd always wait for the police. Because after I verify my information and they decide, oh no, now I don't want the cops. No, 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 no. I want the police here. And I tell them the same thing. Why was my ID and me telling you good enough? But it wasn't for them. I would try to pull the quiet part from them. And I would make it very uncomfortable. It should be uncomfortable. I mean, for Christ's sake, Gene was working in a right-of-way a couple months ago, not even on this guy's property. He came outside and told Gene that he was going to shoot him four times. Gene did nothing wrong. Then when Gene told me this, I was standing in front of this guy's house, like literally like in his driveway, documenting his address. He walked past me and went right back over to Gene and started problems. Sorry I had to go through this, bro. And if it wasn't for Trey and Gene, I would have never known this shit actually happens. But it does. She is on the phone with 911 right now. I'm rude and he's just threatening me. Fellow Asians, don't come into my comments with your white fragility mad because I'm calling out Asians for behaving as if they are white humans. Like the Asian gentleman I pointed out with his idiotic video in regards to someone commenting on the behavior of Asians. When you have social interactions with black humans and your go-to when you're called rude is to call the police while well, you're acting white. You're acting on behalf of white supremacy, as a matter of fact. And I'm going to keep calling you out for it. It's embarrassing. You are not white. Hello? On the phone with 911 right now. I'm rude and he's just me. Go to the police right now. Right now, as soon as you see this, go to the police as soon as you can. I'm going through the same thing. If you go on my page, you'll see. I have two court summons uh, right here uh, for an incident that happened similar to yours. Um, and now I have to pay $3,700 for a lawyer to defend a assault and battery allegation to me when I did nothing to that lady. She's going to press the fullest charges she can on you and try to get you locked up or whatever she can. I'm telling you now, go to the police, file your complaints, get your paperwork done. Don't think this is the, this is the end of it. Do what you got to do, Kane. She is on the abuse. phone with 911 yeah, right now. I'm rude and he's just threatening me look, right now. Look at it. She said I just threatened her. What threat what what threat did I make towards you? I'm Elizabeth. What threat did I make towards you, ma'am? Huh? <sighs> this is crazy. I've never I already knew I already knew what it was when I first got here though. He or she is one minute later trying to sound distressed so the police can come quicker. What? I'm shaking her. She needs to go to jail. What? ASAP. What in the world is this, boy? I ain't gonna lie. I've never in my life had to deal with no bullshit like this. Never in my life. <laughs> She's she is on the phone with 911 right now. I'm rude and he's just threatening me look, right now. Look at it. She said I just threatened her. What threat what what threat did I make towards you? I'm Elizabeth. What threat did I make towards you, ma'am? Huh? <sighs> this is crazy. I've never I already knew 
I already knew what it was when I first got here though. He or she is one minute later trying to sound distressed so the police can come quicker. What? So this she woman decided to call the police on this black man for no reason. Just me Look, right 